Now it's 7.42 and this morning on Rawson Reports, a safety alert for parents this holiday season. It concerns a popular gift for the whole family that comes with a hidden danger for children. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson has more on this. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Matt, good morning to you. We're talking about TV sets here. Flat screens are dropping in price, which means many of us are out there buying them. Who would ever think they're dangerous? But now, exclusive new numbers out today that every parent should really see. More kids than ever are being killed by TVs and furniture falling on top of them. In fact, a child is rushed to the hospital every 45 minutes in this country. This morning, the simple thing you can do right now to prevent this. A frightening crash. A thunderous boom. Can you imagine a child under that? A nightmare becoming so common, safety experts and the federal government issuing these alarming new reports today. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, 37 kids were killed from TV, furniture, and appliance tip-overs last year alone, up a shocking 37%. Another 23,400 children rushed to emergency rooms. Kate Carr is president of the watchdog group Safe Kids. How does this happen? TVs like this are top heavy with a narrow base. Small kids are very curious about TVs. They want to get them on. They come over, they grab them, it wobbles, and it falls right over on a child. She says many parents keep flat screens on stands, sitting on furniture, an invitation for danger. Look how easy this is for this to fall on a child. And that's the mistake. Now there's a new problem. What to do with those heavy tube TVs? A lot of people taking their old TVs, moving them into basements like this or kids' bedrooms. And they're up on a high dresser, and kids reach for the remote, climb up on a drawer, pull the drawer out, and there it goes. The impact study show, the same as a baby falling from a 10-story window. It happened to two-year-old Chance Bowles. The last thing she said to me was, I love you, Mama. And that was it. Mom was in the next room when her cute little girl pulled out the drawers and climbed up on this dresser. In just seconds, it all came down. And just something that simple that we never thought about is what took her away from us. So how do you protect your kids? Flat screen should always be mounted on the wall, secure. At the very least, experts say, buy a special strap like this and attach your TV and the dresser to the wall. Those straps cost less than $20. And for those old tube TVs? This is how it should be. This is absolutely how it should be. Low and stable piece of furniture. Below my knee. Below your knee. Looks great. Advice that may have saved so many children, and perhaps this two-year-old girl. We don't want you to take the chance on losing your baby like we did ours. The TV manufacturers group told us it is committed to safety and consumers should always properly secure their TVs. Here's another thing you can do at home right now before you go to work. A lot of us keep our wallets, our cell phones, even toys on top of our dressers. That is a bad idea, Matt. Anything that your child can grab, you want to either keep low or completely out of sight so and they when, can't reach up and pull it When down. people look at those flat screen TVs, they're often so no. thin they think they're not heavy. They're really heavy. Well, yeah, 50 pounds or more in many cases, and because they're so top-heavy, you know, a 50-pound TV versus a 25-pound yeah. child, not going to work. All right, Jeff Ross and Jeff, thank you very much. Coming